name's Terry Ogle and I live on San Juan Island in Washington State, kind of the farthest northwest place that you can be. I have a little art studio downtown. I'm a wood carver and I'm a watercolor painter. Well, Michael wanted to say, hey, can you show me a few tricks about uh, abstract painting? Because th that's kind of my bend. That's where I want to go and learn a little bit. And we opened up by having a couple of pieces of paper, some water, plenty of paint, some napkins to kind of clean up the mess as we go. And look, you know, we've got orange fingers and blue and all that comes with the territory. One of the things we want to do is wet up canvas down, or a piece of watercolor paper on here. And I kind of want some dry spots in it. This is going to be an underlayment. It's just going to be some colors. We want them to flow together. So you, at any point, you can add some water. And I want some irregular kind of mixing that's not so controllable and see what's happening. We added a lot of color in the background and we let it dry. We facilitated drying with a hair dryer. So that watercolors, we love these because we can get an area, dry it out, and then paint another color over it without it blending in so much. It'll float over the top in a glaze. So you, know, you won't want to film this too much because it takes a little while. But, We started putting stronger pure pigments on here. And then rather than use a brush, we use other devices like a credit card and a potter's rib and a razor blade and started moving the paint and manipulating it. And the background colors kind of registered through after we squeegeed them out of the paper while it was still wet. Hopefully in the process, you see where to take it. And that's, that's the, the thing that makes an artist. He looks at things or she looks at things in a little different matter and we hope somewhere along the process that we see the final thing kind of meld and, and pulled together. Letting some stuff happen here. I still may go into the center and break that up some more, but uh, I do like it, the big drip across, pretty strong. It's an amalgam. It's uh, a melange of different things and, and the melange part for me is going to be the emotion, the, the, the spirit of it. So I decided this this vertical, but during the whole process right up till the end, I never really kind of knew what the final product was going to be, but I feel like I'm there now. For an abstract to be a very strong thing, it's almost got to capture a little bit of energy, emotion, some kind of expressive desire and maybe it's a subconscious thing and we don't really understand where it's coming from or how but this is at least how I think about it. Am I right or wrong? Don't know but I'm still going to keep on pushing the way I'm pushing.